using Velcro to wrap cables reduces stress because it keeps things clean and neat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Velcro. I'm going to tell you where you can get the Velcro and I'm going to give you three tips that I learned along the way. Let's go. All right, so let's take a look at how to use the Velcro. So when you have the Velcro, it looks something like this. We have the hole on one side and then you just basically do a loop through. So all you need to do is find the end one end and then just loop it through the hole just like threading the needle okay. do that and then take the rest of the cables and just wrap them around so the Velcro, you can find this at your local hardware store you can also find it at Lowe's and Home Depot in addition, you can also find it online. You can find it like on Amazon. I'll have the links below. You will use a lot of these. You won't, you don't realize how many cables you have until you start using them and you realize that you have quite a bit. These I would say are for like your thicker cables, maybe your extension cords, something about 50 feet. Um, but these Velcro branded cables, um, I use these for pretty much anything. Uh, a lot of my charging cables, a lot of my video cables. Now coming up, I'm going to show you three tips on what I learned on how to use Velcro. So stick around. But if you like what you're seeing so far, click that like button. Maybe, hey, leave a comment. How do you um, keep your cables organized? Leave a comment down below and share it with the rest of the community. We love to hear from you. So three tips that I learned on using Velcro. Number one, when you take off the Velcro and when you're using the cable, what you don't want to do is just leave it like this because it's just going to drag all over the ground. It's going to get dirty. It's not going to stick properly. What you want to do is roll it up onto itself. So what I mean by that is uh, one way you can do it is by wrapping it around the cable like this. Now by doing this, it will be hard to see. So it's not going to like stick out um, if, you're, if you have this on stage or maybe in, in your camera view. Um, it's not going to stick out as much as if it were just hanging out loose. This one looks messy, but if you have it wrapped around itself, it's pretty much invisible. When you have it wrapped against itself, it's pretty much invisible. Now, another way you can do it is you can wrap it around itself, kind of making a nice little roll like this. Now, this is going to stick out a little bit more, but what's good about this is that when you roll it back up, you can just like unwind just what you need and then wrap it around itself. Better than having to, you know, have it unravel all the way and then you're wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it. And then when you have to take it off, you have to unwrap it, unwrap it, unwrap it, and then wrap, wrap, wrap around itself like this. This way, I've learned that this is a lot quicker. Just wrap it around what you need. As long as you have it over, maybe about an inch that's good enough and so when you're ready to use it all you have to do is take that part off and just wrap it and you're done now another tip that that i do personally is when i'm using cable say um i have extension cords laid out and stuff what i don't do is i don't if i have it all laid out what i don't do is i don't wrap the excess cables so say if I had, so say if I'm connecting two things, um, what I don't do is I don't then take the excess and then wrap it up like this. A couple of things can happen. If this is being laid on the ground, then it could be a, a tripping hazard because you just turned what could be maybe a 10 foot cable into like a two or three foot cable. Another thing too is as you use it, this loop, you're gonna notice will start getting smaller and smaller and this will cause a kink 
in the cable and you don't realize that. So when I'm in use, I just keep it loose until I'm done using the cable. And then I wrap it back up again and put the Velcro on. Uh, another trick that I learned is to how to extend it. So say you have a really thick cable like this. You have a pretty long cable. You need at least an inch for it to really have a good grip on it. Let me show you a trick I learned. So right now, if I just put one of these cables on, and I try to wrap it, well, I can't at this point. So the trick that I learned was you take another Velcro and you weave it in. So I'm just gonna weave this in. So I'm just gonna weave this in like this. So give it a good maybe one inch so that there's a lot of Velcro overlapping. And then I use that and wrap it around itself. And so now, this is a good seal and this will stay together. In addition to Velcro, another essential thing you'll need is tape. Now click here if you wanna learn more about this or click here if you wanna watch something else. Thank you for watching and aloha.